welcome back to my channel today i am actually going to discuss on a very rare disease entity and that is nothing but lemier's syndrome it is a very rare but potentially fatal complication of acute oropharyngeal infections like pharyngitis or tonsillitis leading into the lateral pharyngeal spaces of the neck it is nothing but a septic thrombophlebitis of internal jugular vein associated with distant metastatic anaerobic septicemia carrying significant mortality develops 4 to 5 days after an attack of acute pharyngitis or tonsillitis actually the causative organism fusobacterium necrophorum or the fusiform bacilli is getting passed from the tonsillar vein into the internal jugular vein and the bacterial endotoxins induces platelet aggregation and septic thrombus formation the septic emboli getting dislodged and the bacteremia and this distal infective thromboembolism are very common with the potential manifestations or complications in the lungs cns joints as well as in the liver in the lungs it may cause pulmonary septic emboli lung abscess even pleural empyema dural venous sinus thrombosis meningitis or cerebral abscess may be there in the central nervous system septic arthritis even liver abscess can be a complication of this coming to the clinical presentation mostly the patient present with trismus and pain behind the angle of jaw and may so neck swelling sometimes CCT findings mostly are suggestive of internal jugular vein thrombophlebitis as well as intraluminal filling defect in the jugular venous wall it also depicts complications and the site of primary infection sometimes it is the first diagnostic clue even before the bacterial cultures arrive this disease should be suspected from when there is a severe neck pain even septicemia in a patient with an infection in the upper aero digestive tract condition is treated with antibiotics for 6 weeks that is penicillin with metronidazole or coamoxiclab if there is evidence of spreading thrombophlebitis anticoagulation may be considered thank you very much for your patient listening